Technology was supposed to make our lives better. Instead, we have lost our privacy. Hackers have known it for years, but it took the revelations of Edward Snowden to expose just how easily governments can access personal data on mobile phone networks. Now it's time for a change. And that change comes in the form of a new phone from Swiss-based startup Black Phone. The status quo in mobile phones and, and mobile operating systems has been to give all of that information away for free, not only without monetary compensation, but without even the knowledge of the users. Providing you're communicating with someone with the same software, the only thing the network operator can see is your location and the fact you are communicating, not the content or the nature of the exchange. The latest mobile phones come packed with bigger and better features, but at the moment no consumer mobile devices ship with special encrypted security. The real question is whether networks and phone makers are prepared to do something to make privacy part of the product. And one network, Deutsche Telekom, has just announced it will. It's offering clients a voice and message encryption system licensed from another German company, which has already sold tens of thousands of its cryptophone handsets to clients around the world. It's seen interest in these increase fivefold since the NSA revelations. In Germany, we had quite a bit of experience with the totalitarian state. And uh, we know that the state or any other player for that matter should not have the right to know with whom you're communicating and, and why. It's just private and it just should stay that. Until now, encryption technology has largely been the preserve of governments. Now they'll have to work out if they're prepared to let their people get their hands on the same tools. Maybe what you're starting to see is a balancing out here between this type of technologies and techniques being used by governments and now it's making its way into the general mainstream. So I think that, that obviously is a concern and a challenge to them. The test now is how seriously people take the issue of private mobile communications, whether they're prepared to pay more for the privacy which encryption affords or continue as they have, trusting networks and governments not to abuse their positions of power. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain.